A quick video to show you this option, the load WooCommerce product pages using Ajax. Um, it does use Ajax technically, it's loading the product page in an iframe, right? But the reason why you want to do that is because of these two options. So if you put this, if you switch this to using the natural sort order, um, and especially this one actually, if you remove the count of the product posts from WP Query, then it breaks pagination. Um, basically you can't see the total number of products, okay? Um, if you do switch that on, it'll pretend as if there's a hundred pages. Um, this is the, the code does that. Okay, so every page will pretend to have a hundred pages. Um, now you can fix that from a user point of view by switching to using infinite scroll. Um, so infinite scroll is where when you scroll down, it just keeps loading more uh, products in your archive. Uh, but one of the main problems with um, infinite scroll is if you hit the if somebody goes to the product page and then hits the back button, then it will go back to the top of the page. So if they were on page three or page four, then they have to scroll down and navigate again. So you're gonna get a lot of people leaving your site if, if, if that happens. Okay, so that's what this option does is it changes the way that that behaves. So I've got an example here. Um, so this page here, um, there's, the pagination is hidden by the infinite scroll plugin that I'm using. Uh, but you see it scrolls down, as you're scrolling down, it's loading more pages, loading more products in here. Um, but the part what this plugin does when I click on this product, it actually, I mean, you, uh, well, you can't see the URL, but the URL updates, but it's actually loaded this page using Ajax inside an iframe. And now when I hit the back button, you notice this product here will be back exactly at that position we were at. Okay, so without that, we wouldn't be back here. Um, you'd be back at the top of the page and having to load everything again. Okay, so that works no matter how far down the page you go, um, whichever product you go to. So this one loads it and uses Ajax. So there's all the SEO friendly stuff, so you get a, an updated URL in case people want to copy and paste the URL and all that kind of stuff. Um, but then if they hit the back button, it just hides that product page and reveals the archive page again. So you're right back where you started. No extra server resource to reload all those pages. Nothing to do with the customer having to keep scrolling down. So it's much better user experience. You can click through, click back, be back where they left off. Um, so it's a great little option and it is better, good performance for your server.